video 1. So from that, according to second color surface, what is the observed distance? We want to know the distance. And image distance is V. Image distance is V. And the radius of curvature is R2. So here, minus mu2 pi. What is the image distance here? V1. Mu1 by in place of mu2, mu1. Why? What is the image distance? B. That equals to mu1 minus mu2 by R2. This is the refraction at second derivative surface. We have to add these two equations. Add equation 1 and 2. Equation 1 and 2. Then we will get minus mu1 by u plus mu2 by v1 minus mu2 by v1 plus mu1 by v that equals to mu2 minus mu1. Let us take a common mu2 minus mu1. So from that here uh, suppose for example we have to write here minus of mu2 minus mu1 by R2. Is it correct? Why? Because let us take a common minus, then we will get mu2 minus mu1. So, from that, 1 by R1 minus 1 by R2. 1 by R1 minus 1 by R2. From here, so see what's here? Uh, minus mu2 by so plus mu2 by v1 minus mu2 by v1 get cancelled. So, from that Minus mu1 by u plus mu1 by v that equals to mu2 minus mu1 into 1 by r1 minus 1 by r2. So here let us take a common mu1. So then mu1 into 1 by v minus 1 by u that equals to mu2 minus mu1 into 1 by r1 minus 1 by r2. So here from this equation mu1 mu1 we have to take a mu1 to the right side then what we have to get here 1 by v so 1 by v Minus 1 by u is equal to mu2 minus mu1 by mu1 into 1 by r1 minus 1 by r2. So, this is known as lens makers formula. This is also known as lens makers formula. So, what is lens makers formula means? Minus mu1 by u plus u1 by v is equal to mu2 minus mu1 into 1 by r1 minus 1 by r2. So, this is known as lens matters formula. So, by using lens matters formula, we have to derive lens formula lens formula also. So, here, <coughs> so this is nothing but lens matters formula. So, what is lens matters formula? Minus mu1 by u plus mu1 by v that equals to mu2 minus mu1 into 1 by r1 minus 1 by r2. So, this equation is known as lens makers formula. So, from this equation, we have to derive lens formula also. How can we derive lens formula means? From the equation, 1 by v minus 1 by u is equal to mu2 minus mu1 by mu1 into 1 by r1 minus 1 by r2. So, suppose, for example, if the object is at infinite distance, if the object is at infinite distance, so, if the object is at infinite distance, if the object is at infinite distance, so then what will happen is, u is infinity. Infinity means the light rays are parallel. The light rays are parallel. 
The image distance, so the object distance. 
second consonants. So this is equation two. So what is the combined vocal length? Combined vocal length means we have to add these two. Then we will get combined vocal length. So that is one by f one plus one by f two is equals to one by v one minus one by u plus one by v minus one by v one. So here. Plus one by v one minus one by v one get cancelled. So from that one by f one plus one by f two is equals to one by v minus one by u. This is also nothing but one by f. So from that one by f one plus one by f two is equals to one by f. So one by f one is nothing but power p one plus p two is equals to v. So here c one plus c two is equal to p means the sum of the individual powers is equal to their total power. We will get. So suppose for example these two lengths are separated by a distance d. So then what is the combined vocal length means if two lengths are separated by a distance two lengths are separated by a distance b then the combined vocal length is so 1 by f is equals to 1 by f1 plus 1 by f2 minus d by f1 f2 so from this p is equals to p1 plus p2 So one by f one minus d p one v two. This is the combined vocal length. This is the combined vocal length when two lengths are separated by distance d. Then the power is p is equal to p one plus p two minus d into p one v two. This is the power. Next concept is refraction by prism. So let us consider a prism A, B, C. So here P Q B the incident ray. The incident ray strikes on the first surface of the prism. Then what will happen? It gets refraction. So it gets refraction. So that refracted ray is Q R. So after what will happen? Again. This is an incident ray of second surface. So 
This is the incident light ray. PQ be the incident light ray. QR be the refracted ray. And RS be the emergent ray. So, whenever the PQ is incident on the first surface of the prism, so the light ray is in rarer medium. Whenever it travels from rarer medium to denser medium, the after refraction, the refracted ray moves towards the normal. So, after that, again this light ray, QR, this light ray, it strikes on the second surface of the prism. So, this is the denser medium and it is the rarer medium. So, whenever the light ray travels from denser medium to rarer medium, the refracted ray or the emergent ray moves away from the normal. So, here, so this is a, this is the refracted ray. So, refracted ray, this is the normal. So, that is why here the angle is R2. Okay. So, from the, here, AULR. From the quadrilateral, from the quadrilateral, AQLR, angle A plus, angle A plus, angle QLR is equal to 180 degrees. Angle A plus, angle QLR is equal to 180 degrees. So, this is equation 1. So, from the triangle QLR from the triangle QLR So, here this is the triangle QLR So, here the angle is R1 Here the angle is R2 So, the total is 180 degrees. So, from that R1 plus R2 plus angle QLR equals to 180 degrees. So, this is equation 2. So, from equation 1 and 2, from equation 1 and 2, right sides are equal, so left sides must be equal. So, angle A plus angle QLR Suppose for example, 
that I am. Name of deviation, I mean. So from that, N1 sin E in place of E, what I have to substitute? I is equals to N2 sin R2. So this is equation 7. From equation 5 and 7, from equation 5 and 7, left sides are equal. From equation 5 and 7, left sides are equal. So that's why right. right sides must be equal. So N1 sin R1 is equal to N2 sin R2. So here N1 sin I is equal to N2 sin R2 and N2 sin R2. So N1 sin I is equal to N2 sin R1. N1 sin E is equal to N2 sin R2. So here N left sides are equal. So that's why right sides N2 sin R1 is equal to N2 sin R1 is equal to N2 sin R2. Okay. So here N2 N2 get cancelled. Sin sin get cancelled. From that R1 is equal to R2. From that R1 is equal to R2. So here R1 is equal to R2. We have to substitute already we know that uh, from equation 3 from equation 3 Sin A plus 